So welcome back to the channel. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be printing onto canvas. Now this over here uh, didn't cost me a lot of money and uh, one YouTuber, I may put his link down below, he was using this kind of paper. And what this paper is, is label paper. Okay, so here we go here. So there's a label paper here. You take the labels off and when you print, depending on what printer is on that, you want to print where, want to remove the labels on the top here, okay? So what you will need canvas, okay? Or some form of canvas. And uh, this costs about a pound from the pound store. And there's a larger canvas there as well, okay? So if you, if you get a nice design, get a nice design and you could fill that up completely. Right, so the Liquidex, okay, is a really, really good um, medium gel. And I've seen other YouTubers using it and you don't have to wait all day for it. You don't have to let everything dry and uh, wait overnight to do it. And with this one, it's, it's done instantly, okay? So in a few hours you could try it. I'm gonna leave it probably three, four hours. Another and thing you may need is gonna be a ruler of some form. Um, so then when you do do your design and you wanna go for the full size, you measure that all the information across there, put it into Photoshop or whatever software you use for, you know, to do all your photo work. Okay, and then you could do your measurements to the exact point, Ooh, okay? Clear coat. And um, once all the work's done to give you a nice finish, put some clear cut on there. And uh, I, I have seen, you know, when you're doing certain work, you may actually do various layers, okay? But at a later stage, I will try that out. And if you've got one, a credit card or some sort of store card to ensure that you get any rid of any air bubbles, any air bubbles will cause issue with the print so you may lose chunks of your prints on that there okay so that's what you will need for it okay now I will be using a neg okay so I'm transferring direct from a neg now these are from my wedding photos okay so if you look over here I've got various snaps on here that I will be using okay and then when I've chosen them Okay, I will just press the scan or the scan button on that there and it creates a digital file. And when it goes on the digital file, it will then go straight directly into Photoshop where I will be then be able to adjust the images.
Now this one uh, was made on cheap, cheap one pound store canvas. And to be honest, it, it's turned out well. It's not the best canvas, okay? And there's areas where I completely, you know, completely missed out as well. Now this was harder to do. Um, the error I made with this one was to leave it too long. I left it 24 hours. But um, if I'd done it almost immediately, it probably wouldn't stuck down as, as much as it did there. Okay, all right then, so, what I'd recommend if you was going to do this one, if it wasn't going to be full frame, you could always get various mounts of various colours of mounts on there. Put the mounts on there and you can make a series of wedding photographs or something to send to your, um, your relatives or family members on that there. Very impressed with that. If you want to support my channel, my link is below the uh, Patreon page and also buy me a coffee. Until next time, take care and bye.